G'day, g'day guys. Welcome to another layout. This one is using a heap of paint and lots of shimmery goodness coming your way. This one is not a Christmas layout. This one, actually, I tell a lie, it is a Christmas layout, but it's done differently. So I was feeling rainbowy, rainbowy. Ra I was feeling the rainbow vibe today. So I pulled out my creative place watercolor palette that I bought from Aldi last year. This paint, when it comes in, if you do not have a good pigmented watercolor that you love and swear by, next time you see one of these paint palettes in Aldi, spend the eight bucks and buy it because it is so pigmented and it is fantastic. You get so much out of it. These are the brightest, brightest colors. I love them, absolutely love them. So I'm creating myself a splatty rainbow covering the background. I don't know what you call that. I'm using the packaging technique. I'm trying to get more splat, sort of a more dotty look, but towards the purple, it's sort of got larger, I like it. I'm happy with that. I'm coming back in over the top with some splats and some bigger blobs. Now, once this dries down, it looks just right. It looks fine. Uh, I do, I don't make you watch all of that process, but these are so pigmented that even once I suck up some of the water with my paper towel, so as to try and prevent it not warping too much, it stays really like the the color stays on the, the cardstock these are really really good quality considering look if you're going to paint a portrait of the queen i probably wouldn't use these right but for scrapbooking these are so good like you can see i'm not even getting much like I'm not wetting the daylights out of these things. I'm just wetting my brush and it's working. It, it's so good. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm just mixing the colors together there just to get a slightly different tone of orange on top of the orange and the red. For some reason, they just sort of blended back into each other. So I had to add a little bit more on there so that it didn't just blend in because it, was, it wasn't layering very well. So... I ended up doing it like this. Now I just let it sit on the cardstock for a little bit so the color sort of bit into it. And this is what I did. And then I dried it out. And I love creating layouts like this, guys. Is this something that you like? If it is, and if you're getting value from my videos, please do all the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, thumbs up, all that sort of fun stuff. Because I absolutely love 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 communicating with you guys it makes it makes my day you know it doesn't make my day how much white paint i have flicked all over my laptop all over my ipad and it is <laughs> i gotta tell you i made myself a right old mess with this paint i it's look it's just water-based acrylic it's white it's not the end of the world it wipes i Okay, I probably shouldn't get it on my laptop because, you know, it is a MacBook Air and, um, yeah, probably shouldn't do that. But I do. I do because that's what I do. I like to make mess. I like to have fun. If I, if I have to scrapbook and not have fun and make mess, then I don't, I don't want to do it. It's not me. So I pulled out my Montmartre alcohol marker and I'm going around and covering all my letters. Now, you may notice if you saw yesterday's video that the title of that video was The Best Bit of Christmas and it was a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files. This is the innards from that particular cut file, Best Christmas, and this is what I mean when I say stretch a cut file. So when you cut one cut file, you can actually get two titles out of one cut file most of the time. If you're prepared to MacGyver, no, wrong way of wording it. 
if you're prepared to use some thickers with your inner, piece, your inner pieces from your cut file, then you can create two titles with one cut file. So for me, I think that that is just, it's a more economical way of doing it. It's also something that, this is a mistake by the way, don't do this, don't do what I did. I put the alcohol marker down, it was completely dry. Then I came in with some watered down acrylic paint. For some reason it reacted and the white went brown. So I changed my direction where I was gonna go there. I was going to keep these letters just black with some white splatters on them. Didn't work. So you could do it if you used liquid paper. I have noticed that if you go over alcohol markers with liquid paper, they're fine. So, or you could use a white Posca paint pen, you can do that. I was going with the ink because I was going with the um, white acrylic paint because it was on the desk and that's what I had just used on the background. So I thought, oh yeah, that'll work. Don't, don't. <laughs> save yourself, don't. So for everyone overseas, if you're wondering what we Aussies do on Christmas day, this is what we do. So <laughs> we set up jumping castles, we set up water. This is a water slide that my brother bought for his daughter and my kids enjoyed every minute of it because Christmas here in Australia is 99% of the time over 30 degrees Celsius, easily 30, 35. If we get a Christmas day, that we have to look at putting a jumper on. It's just foreign to us, very foreign. Now I'm using my alcohol marker to do my border. I did say this the other day that it was gonna save me a lot in cardstock. And look at that, boom, bada, bing. I love it. Now I was, while I was doing those couple of things, I was thinking about how I could mix up this title and fix it. This is what I decided to do. So I'm stippling a gradient onto each letter using my pastel Posca paint pens and I'm doing very few dots at the top that come down to almost a solid at the bottom and I think that turned out really good. Is it what I planned to do in the beginning? No. Did I have to change my plans? Yep. <laughs> and I probably could have gone back over could I have gone back over it with the alcohol marker and got rid of the white dots? Yes, probably could have done that too. But I am really happy with how this worked out. So, and sometimes that's what scrapbooking is. It's just a combination of happy accidents that come together to create a beautiful layout. Now, I am trying to give you guys this year, I'm trying to give you a plethora of different ideas. This is a Christmas layout. It is a Christmas photo. It's an Aussie Christmas. This is what we do nine times out of ten. Um, quite often, not every year, but some years we get a storm on a thunderstorm on Christmas Day. You know, so it's not unusual to see a rainbow on Christmas Day for us. So yeah, I'm keeping the dots, by the way, in line with the colors in the background so in case you're wondering how I was working that out I'm sorry I need to drink okay sorry I'm still I'm still suffering I'm doing a heap of um, voiceovers in one day and I've got one of my cluster migraines so it's really annoying me <laughs> it's frustrating so bad but that's okay now um, I'm going ahead I've just about finished doing that and that's when I realize you know what I want to go to town with some some bling I haven't actually done a big bling bling out for a bit so I decide to go to town on this one this one is going up on the last day of November 2023 so why not let's go to town and just bling it out 
So I was tapping my fingers because I didn't know if I wanted to go down this path, but I was having a bit of a day of it and nothing makes me happier than bling. Now, these little trays of colory goodness that you can see there, I get these ones from AliExpress and I bought mine from Alina Crafts. I'm not sure if I have had some people say to me that you can't get them from there anymore. I have seen them on Timu. I have all, I have also seen them on AliExpress, not Alina Crafts. So that's where I buy them. I buy them in bulk and, you know, all of my colors, I think it cost me about a hundred bucks Australian to get a full really big range of all these sparkly bits and I love them and that is why I go to town sometimes and just put lots and lots and lots on there because why not I love it it's fun it's fun it's interesting I love it so I am going to town I'm using my art glitter glue to put this down I have to admit my hands are doing pretty well at the moment so I've actually been able to upgrade to the four ounce bottle with relative success with very limited um, hand issues and that's why I stayed with the smaller bottle for so long but yeah it seems to be working a treat so what have I used on here I will link the cut file below that I cut out originally that I'm using the centers out of. I'll have that linked to below. The thickers are It's a Boy. Uh, the Montmartre Black alcohol marker was the GY8 Black. Uh, Creative Place watercolor paint set and the Posca paint pens. And I actually bought those Posca paint pens the pastel ones I bought on Amazon AU and they were only like 20 bucks for five or six colors which when you know the cost of a Posca paint pan that's really good so um, they are Japanese made but as is Posca so they are written in Japanese but that's because who cares you can tell what the color is by the lid right so I know the ones you buy in Australia have English written on them, but that doesn't faze me one little bit. So what else can I say, guys? What's been happening in my life while I put this bling down? Taylor's got a job. Angela's got a job. Um, Jen is still gymnasticking like a crazy child. Hubby's working his backside off. I am trying my very best to bring you guys valuable content that hopefully you watch and it gives you inspiration to try something that maybe you haven't tried before. Is there something you would like to challenge me to do? If there's something you would like for that, by all means, jump on board and I am more than happy to give that a crack. I have ordered and they will be here this week a new product that I cannot wait to use and I will be doing a live when I use that product so I'm thinking at this stage it might be Friday if not Saturday I'm going to do my next live this is I'm telling you this and I'm just realized that it will be I'm not sure what day I'm going to do the live, but I will let you know. And if you're watching this and you want to know what the product is, go and check out my live playlist. So this video is going up on the 30th of November. So the, it will be a layout. Oh, I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm really chomping at the bit. I've wanted these these particular this particular product and thank you to buy my buy thank you to everyone who has supported me with buy me a coffee through the link in the description because 
I was able to buy this new product because of the buy me a coffees. So thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. Like I said, you know, one buy me a coffee, if that's, if you're able to support just one buy me a coffee every so often, that really, really, really helps out my channel. And yeah, it helps me buy more product to bring you more content. Here's all the sparkly bits. Can you see how shimmery and glittery and shiny that is? I love my title. Let me know what you think below. I absolutely adore this layout. It just turned out so pretty. It really did. And it is a Christmas layout. So, you know, Christmas doesn't have to be red and green, especially when you're talking about an Aussie Christmas, because an Aussie Christmas, well, we... Christmas hits a little different in Australia, just going to say. So I did end up coming back in because I did notice just then that I forgot to do the dots on my E. <laughs> so there was a random random letter that needed to be fixed up. So I did do that. And yeah, so don't forget, like, subscribe, all the youtube -y stuff. Don't forget to do that before you leave to help support my channel. And thank you so, so much for everything, guys. I am having an absolute blast and I'll see you in December. Bye for now.